the uh, the refrigerator that we moved out of the back room last night. Fortunately, it was not as heavy as I anticipated, um, and it works, and it's pretty clean, and it's no longer trapped in that weird little room in the back. So uh, now we're going to try and figure out. The placement didn't work here. There's not enough electrical outlets to support the refrigerator and other appliances at the same time. So uh, my whole schema for the layout of the room has to be totally reconfigured. And uh, hey, that's fun. So that's good. Every crisis is an opportunity. Um, oh, please come join me in the bathroom. I'm very proud of this. So last night I stayed up way too late putting together this wooden floor. It's actually made of interlocking foam tiles. And I was able to cut it to get around the weird angles and so forth. And I think it's going to look really nice when it's done. And uh, then I might just might just do the whole apartment with this kind of flooring. Um, it's nice and squishy and soft. And uh, I think it's going to be nice to walk on in the morning on my way to the shower. This is the origin of the refrigerator. It was ensconced back there in that corner, if you can believe it. And uh, all this stuff was just so cluttered in here that it was impossible to get to the washer and dryer. But now we've removed the refrigerator, put the stove under the fume hood. It's a weird place for a stove, that's true. But um, this is the kind of thing that I might use it on Thanksgiving to make a pumpkin pie or something like that. And you know, you got the water heater here and the furnace. It is what it is. Okay, and then over here, there's some shelves that I think I want to use in the main room, but they're just covered with tools and materials right now. So that's uh, next up, is to just clean all this stuff, see what we have, and then make use of uh, whatever can be used. Please, follow me. <laughs> that sound you hear is the furnace. <laughs> One of many sounds that I will get to enjoy in my time living here. Um, but as you can see, we've completely cleaned up this whole utility room here pretty well. Um, and freed up some shelves to put tools on. And we discovered a secret hiding place full of what appear to be paintings and things. Uh, the owner is an artist. He's a painter. And um, so we may have found his treasure trove of talent hidden away under the stairs. So um, so let me walk back out into the main area. Um, we're trying to implement a little feng shui here, uh, create a little symmetry. It's not 100% on point just yet, but uh, uh, we pulled everything away from the wall because there's going to be a cherry blossom mural on the wall which I want that to be visible. So we're going to try and avoid putting furniture up against that wall. This is going to be a couch that converts into a bed right here. And then a little end table on either side of that. Here it is, everyone. We've got some picture frames back here. we got all kinds of crazy stuff. <gasps> paint. Oh my god, there's so much paint back here. Alright, so there's all kinds of cool things. I might talk with the owner and see if we can clean this area up and then I can use it for storage. So we'll see how that goes. So we got in there and found some old paint and put that on the shelves um, and then cleaned out the mystery room a little bit and found some paintings which were actually very nice, really good stuff. Um, I mean, high art kind of stuff, I think. And, uh, but I didn't really want to disrupt them because uh, the owner's not here right now and that's his stuff, his personal stash. But I'm going to ask him if I can put them up on the wall. I think that'd be really cool, you know, to have the artist's work on my wall in his home. So we'll see what he says. He cleaned up the utility room and discovered that mystery room with the paintings in it and, and so on. I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing if maybe I can have those on the wall. I, I do think that'd be a really nice touch. And uh, the cover on uh, the bed, I mean the couch slash bed cover was laundered last night and it's I think looking as good as it's ever going to look. 
Um, you can see over here we have the refrigerator, and to the left of that is going to be the food preparation area. And in the mystery room, we even found this countertop, and I'm going to try and make some use of it however I can. Of course, we also got these bookshelves, um, which are going to be very handy. And this item right here, uh, I, I, today I purchased these rugs from an elderly British couple. They're downsizing and, and selling off some other stuff. Um, walked into their house, they're wearing these face masks, you know, and, and I, I told the guy, I'm sorry, I completely forgot about the virus, you know. And he's like, yeah, well, it's really dangerous for elderly people. And I'm like, yeah, I suppose it is. So, so hopefully I did not infect them. And I'd like to just leave you with a parting song. I remember you. You're the one who made my dreams come true a few kisses ago. I remember you. You're the one who said I love you too, and didn't you know? I remember to a distant bell, and stars that fell like rain out of the blue. When my life is through, and the angels ask me to recall the thrill of them all, then I shall tell them I remember.